All right, so we're now gonna do a chi-square test similar to the one we did in class using Excel. Um, for this one, we're using the job satisfaction data on the chi-square example spreadsheet. So the first step is gonna make, be to make a pivot table like we have before. So I, and I hit insert and then pivot table. I'm going to go ahead and put it on a new sheet, so I'll hit OK. Now, um, I think the job satisfaction depends on years of service, so I put job satisfaction in the row, years of service in the column, and then either one can go in the values box. Try that again. Either one goes in, there we go. Now we're in the values box, okay. So I'm gonna close, I'm gonna filter out the blanks and the NAs. So I click here to get to the blanks and the NA checkoff. And I click OK. I check that little arrow, scroll down. Again, I'm going to uncheck NA and uncheck blank. And I hit OK. All right, so this gives me my, let me go ahead and make the Okay, so you see my counts table now. Um, so this is part of what we need for the chi-square test. I'm gonna copy this and paste it special so I have the values to use for the chi-square test in a little bit. T to paste special, I go to, I just right click and hit paste special and I'll choose values. Okay. So now I have my different categories together. Or I'm sorry, I have my counts for each category. Now I'm gonna to wanna to make um, the percent column, the column percents tables. Also it's what all you would use to, you know, analyze the table and see what, see what patterns there are anyway. So I'm going to edit the value field setting by clicking on that little arrow down there. I'm going to choose the show values as tab. And so and I click OK. So now I have a column percent table. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna write paste special. values, okay. Um, all right, so now what I've got are the counts table and the column percent table.